Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to mask windows in Photoshop. There are several different methods of how to do window pools or window masking in Photoshop. And I think it really will mold the way that you shoot your properties um, depending on the method that you use uh, for, for window pools. Now recently, I've used darken mode tool in Photoshop to bring in the, the, the crisper windows. But when you're out shooting, to use that tool and to, to have it you know look really good for you, uh, what we like to do is blow out everything around the, in the room, including the window, but everything's gonna be brighter inside and around the, the windows from where you're going to be getting the darker pixels, which in the other picture, it's darker on the inside and brighter on the window. So it's still, it's gonna be darker outside if you're looking in and then you paint with the dark in mode. And that's, you know, that's one method. I, you know, there are several different methods for getting good windows, but that is, you know, a method that I use uh, or I have been using recently. And I'll do a quick demonstration on this. So let's jump over to the computer. All right, guys, so here's a quick example of what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not gonna edit anything. I'm just focused on the window. So this was a garage picture that we took. Obviously, it's all crooked. It needs to be fixed, but um, we do that all after um, we do this. So I took this picture of the windows and then this one of the inside at like a zero exposure value. So that's a good, Zero, but you can see that the windows are blown out, right? And so this one, we got good windows, but the interior is blown out. So what we're gonna do is select both of these and we're gonna open as layers in Photoshop. All right, so both um, images are open in Photoshop. Now I like to take the one that we're gonna be using the least on top, which is this one, we're just getting the windows. Then we're gonna do a layer mask and command I invert it. And now we're just gonna paint. Uh, so we're gonna be painting with white, which it's already selected white, but we're gonna come down here and change the blend mode to darken. And then you can just paint over the windows. You can see how the windows come in, but you gotta be careful. You saw how I, uh, was, I moved the brush over there and here, let's increase the flow just so we can show you faster or even like this window right here. But you see how easy it is to pull in that information without the rest just because the image looks like this. It's much brighter inside, right? So it's just pulling the darker pixels. It's not messing with anything on the inside because it's already darker. It's just taking the darker pixels from the windows. So anyways. Just a quick demonstration on um, how to do a window pull. Now that's one of maybe a dozen different methods that you can use to get um, your windows, but that is one that is focused on, you know, shooting and editing. So I think that's much better than doing it all manually, cutting out all these squares, because it's extremely tedious, especially with um, shutter. So if you guys have some method that's super efficient that you guys do to do window pulls, let me know in the comment section below. Curious to see how you guys um, you know, are doing those. If you're interested in learning more about the real estate photography business, you can check out my free workshop. The link is in the description below. That's gonna do it for this one. Reach out if you have any questions. We will see you guys on the next one. <music>